Delaney and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, you guys, if you feel like I'm dressed like winter, that's because uh, it feels like January 1st here in the Midwest. We got like three inches of snow last night. Today we're going to talk about something a little bit different than makeup because I, I, I feel like it's a necessity in my weekly life. I don't know about you guys, but you know, I don't like doing my hair, so that means I need dry shampoo. It's true, I use dry shampoo every week, sometimes a couple times a week. And Batiste, Batiste, I'm not sure how you say it, launched some new ones and I picked them up and I've been trying them out and I have some thoughts, so I wanna share it with you guys. If you wanna see a demo and my thoughts on the new Batiste, Batiste dry shampoo, then just keep watching. Today's question of the day is, do you use dry shampoo? Is it a staple in your hair routine? It definitely is for me because I don't like to wash my hair all the time. It styles better when it's a little bit dirty. And then when I do style it, I don't like to have to style it every day. I really try not to use very much heat on my hair. Sorry, I'm like organizing as I'm talking. I try not to use a lot of heat on my hair. So dry shampoo comes in really, really handy. Leave down below if you use dry shampoo. I've used this brand for a long while. I heard about it first on YouTube. I've always liked their dry shampoo, but then I found out they had new and I was like, hmm, could it get better? I picked up two because I wasn't sure what was gonna work best for me. I picked up the Batiste, oh my gosh, I'm gonna struggle with this. I'm just gonna say Batiste. Okay, Batiste, that's, that's what I'm gonna say. Otherwise I'm gonna keep saying Batiste, Batiste. <laughs> the Batiste Volumizing Dry Shampoo with Collagen and then also the Hydrating Dry Shampoo, Normal or Dry with Moisturizing Avocado. I'm just gonna be real with you guys. This one is like, maybe like a quarter left, between a quarter and a half, and this one's like three fourths full. Foreshadowing of my thoughts here. But I'm on second day hair, I'm gonna just take it down. I didn't style it, I just let it air dry yesterday. And honestly, I feel like my roots get a little oily kind of quickly. I do have more oily skin on my face, so I don't know if that's kind of like linked together somehow, but I definitely feel like my roots get oily pretty quickly. So my plan is for this video is to use half my head in the hydrating, half my head in the volumizing so you guys can see the difference. Get out some tangles and then go for it. I always shake my dry shampoo. Am I supposed to? Yes, shake, shake, shake. Now, if you're used to the old cans, they had just kind of the button top where this one is also a button top, but the top of it's totally different. Uh, like your finger fits into this one, if that makes sense. And I do like that, actually. So here we go. Hold can 12 inches away. Oh, I never do that. I always kind of spread out my dry shampoo because I get more oily around here. Again, this is the hydrating side. And then I just kind of spread it through some layers. And then I let it sit for a minute or two. Sometimes I will even wear my dry shampoo overnight. And I actually feel like I get the best results when I do that. Now, if you've never used these before, their formula is very scented. I believe you can purchase in the old cans unscented, but most of them I've come across has very strong fragrance. I don't mind fragrance. I like when my hair smells nice and I think it makes me feel like it's fresher and cleaner. Um, but if you're not a fragrance person, you probably would hate this because it's very strong. This to me is like a very clean, a little bit florally scent. I don't know if it says what the actual scent is here. The other ones, the scents have an actual name that kind of tells you what it is. But this one is just like, the hydrating is a really clean kind of florally scent. I don't remember what this one smells like. Let's find out. Shake, 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 shake your dry shampoo, shake your dry shampoo. When this one sprays out, I feel like it sprays out. I feel like this one has a stronger spray than the hydrating. I don't know if you can hear the difference. This one does not smell as nearly as good to me. This one almost seems unscented. And I lost my, where'd my cap go? What? I don't really think this one has a scent. When this one comes out instantly, I'm hit with that fresh scent. 
This one, I don't notice a scent. I just notice kind of a chemical smell. I would rather have a fragrance than that kind of chemical smell. I hope you guys can tell on camera. I can definitely tell in person. The hydrating side does not leave a vibrant white cast. I mean, there is a cast there, but it's way more mellow than this side. And let me put these up here so you can keep track of what's what. And then what I do with dry shampoo is I just use my hands to buff it in. You could totally brush it out with a brush, but I feel like then sometimes my hair gets a little staticky, especially when it's cold weather. And just watch how easy this one is to buff into the hair. And then I like to get into the base, like really get into the scalp, work it in, because that's where I get really oily. My ends don't get oily. So like that took literally seconds to buff in. Have you ever had that incident where you put in dry shampoo and you think, oh, this is going to be like a fast, quick touch up. And then before you know it, like it takes you ages to get all of the white cast out of your hair. When you have dark hair, uh, I have done that many times with several brands of dry shampoo. Now the volumizing side. Both sides are now buffed in. The volumizing side is also pretty darn easy to buff in. I will tell you, since I've been using these for a while and I've been playing with them a lot, I have found that if I go overboard with the volumizing, I will have a grayish tone color left when the white is mixing with my brunette hair. So definitely if you're using the volumizing, don't go overboard. Otherwise, you just cannot seem to get rid of that cast where I haven't had that problem with the hydrating. Both did buff in really easily as long as you don't put too much. As far as how my hair looks and feels, I personally really love the hydrating one versus this one. I could see this one doing a better job of controlling your oils over multiple days without having to use more. There's just something about this hydrating formula that I'm obsessed with. I don't seem to get as staticky, which I really like because I cannot stand static electricity in my hair. Like, it's the worst feeling ever. It drives me crazy. And I don't feel like this one is so much more volumizing that it's like, oh my gosh, look at the difference. I do think it does a bit more volumizing than the hydrating, but it's not so much of a difference that I'm like, oh, I really see the difference. I have to go with the volumizing. Both sides look pretty similar. I think the only difference is, is I feel like there's kind of like a soft sheen to this side compared to the volumizing. I also just like the way this side feels better. My hair feels extremely soft and smooth after using dry sh shampoo, which I feel like is not very common. I've used a lot of dry shampoo that leaves me like this side. Like, when I put my hands through it, it kind of feels a little bit tuggy. Like, it feels like there's something in your hair. For this side, it's just like, ah, oh, it feels like so nice and smooth. Like, I don't, it doesn't feel like I've used dry shampoo, and I love that. Honestly, like, I'm really, really impressed. Let me tell you what I paid for them real fast. I don't remember, truthfully. So, their original formula at my local Walmart is $6.48. The new formula, the hydrating, is $7.28, and this one is also $7.28. So, you're not spending a lot more for this new formula, and... It looks like the ounces are exactly the same between the old formula bottles and the new. But you guys, I'm really impressed with this one. Like, this isn't bad. I don't think you would regret it if you've already purchased it or if you wanted to try it out for the volumizing aspect. But if you are looking for a new dry shampoo, oh my gosh, I am so impressed with this. I love this one. I hope it, you could pick it up on camera. Like, I just feel like this side of my hair, it looks soft. It looks smooth. It looks hydrated. Like, there really is a difference. I'm really, really glad I picked it up, and this will definitely be my go-to dry shampoo from here on out because this stands out to me. 
this doesn't seem like every other dry shampoo on the market and for the price if you are like me you go through dry shampoo pretty darn fast so like this you guys you can't beat it if you guys have tried this let me know down below what you think i love hearing from you guys that is all for today this video is short and sweet let's do the shout out of the day. Today's shout out of the day is Chrissy Lee. She commented on my October BoxyCharm giveaway and said, I love this video so much and she wants to enter the giveaway. Oh my gosh, Chrissy, I am so glad you're here and I'm so glad you're getting in on the giveaway action. I seriously love doing my monthly giveaways and I'm so glad you entered. Good luck to you. And yes, you guys, that is all for today. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button. You will not regret it. Join the Lash Fam because we're pretty amazing here. And as always, please try to stay positive because at the end of the day, that is truly all we can try to do. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.